I think. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. So this stock is especially uh, very important nowadays disclaimer because of various things are involved especially when we deliver certain uh, aspects of security uh, with examples. So uh, to all participants I request that uh, please uh, go through this disclaimer and uh, whatever the things which are covered here is only for the awareness purpose and the example which are given and all the uh, live example which I'll show you later on in the upcoming slides are also prepared the entire setup within our own intranet uh, controlled environment. So before performing all this thing, please be careful and uh, do not, I will say, not uh, do anything. So see yourself in cyber. This is the hashtag. Nowadays, uh, this October month is celebrated as an uh, cyber security awareness month all over the world. And uh, this time the tagline is see yourself in cyber. So at the time uh, I thought let me just cover up the recent uh, threat which is uh, phishing widely used with example and live example I'll show you how the things are going uh, into the cyber world or cyber security area. Uh, I would like to here mention about the one thing about the human which is the weakest link in the cyber safety or cyber security which we will see gradually how we are going to and uh, that is why the cyber security awareness is very important program a very important aspects to make the cyber chain as strong as possible. So internet is ocean we you know, all know that and uh, when we are talking about the internet ocean what the data which we are day to day accessing and the information which we are fetching from the internet world uh, these three things are divided into uh, this thing one is the surface web which we generally do it uh, Google Yahoo Wikipedia these are freely available you don't need any login credentials right whatever the search which we are doing it in Google that we called it as a surface uh, web when we are accessing the certain information with our credential which uh, that is divided uh, and which uh, part is the deep web so that is our email financial record what we are accessing into the online banking our private network right subscription information these are the things which is uh, part of a deep wave and uh, one of the another part of the internet ocean is the dark wave where the various store encrypted site private communication p2p illegal activities which are happening and if you see that this 96 percent of the web content belongs to this two area especially deep web and the dark web so we are generally aware about majority aspects is the surface wave where we generally deal with that so these are the just aware make you aware that internet ocean is further divided into three major things now when we are talking about the internet world we also are very well aware about the various threats related to that and before talk i thought that let me share you some of these incidents which are very recent incidents especially because of the covid there are many things happened and the, how the cyber attackers or hackers use our psychology to attack on uh, our day to day it devices or uh, on ourselves especially and here i would like to first let me start with the recent attack which happened in june first 2022 which happened with one of the PRL scientists and 2.64 lakh rupees was dipped or stepped because of this online things. The issue is already covered in the newspaper so I am not going in a detail but I request you just please go through that just for your awareness purpose I have kept it. One of the recent thing happened into September recently 11 2022 this other Punawala case we very were aware about that how the WhatsApp scam happened the employee get the message into WhatsApp as if it is appearing from the other Punawala for example and that uh, how the payment or money transferred even though it was a fact message the same thing happened if you see uh, the date September 11 and the next September 18 again the same thing happened with JBM group and uh, you won't believe the one crore rupees amount transferred through the fake uh, WhatsApp message. And one of the important one of the case which I would like to mention here is happened into during the COVID time in January 15, 2021, which was widely covered in the various uh, news where the ex TV, ex NDTV journalist Nidhi Rajanji was also a victim of a phishing attack and uh, the thing happened is that the, she got the uh, offer from the Harvard University the email happened to be like this and the communication worked up to another six months or so 
but later on she realized something fishy in that and then after investigation she understands that the that everything was a phishing attack and you won't believe that because of all this uh, email communication happened in such a way that the, she also resigned from her ndtv job and thought to join the howard university offer but later on all things uh, come out to be a phishing attack so these are the things which are live happen within our own setup some of the things which as i mentioned uh, one of the attack on prl scientist also so it nothing like that the only uh, uneducated people are only become the attack or victim of the cyber threat it's not like that educated people are also becoming the victim of our cyber threat and that is why generally awareness uh, vigilant nature is very very important when we are dealing with the cyber world you might have also received such messages like your net banking account will be closed today or your electricity power will also get disconnected this happened very recently and various uh, um, our colleagues as well as our family members have also received such message and uh, there was a request to contact so and so similarly there was also message received from various ptm related activity that you have a 5500 or some amount of the message and the transaction id is this and there is a shortened url i'll also cover up how this shortened url things working and this url is also given to click and provide certain detail so that also attack or threats things are happening one of the important thing nowadays happening and the attacker blackmailed later on by recording the video call where you received suppose this missed video call on your whatsapp from a unknown number generally we trust such things and we again call back to that number and as soon as we start calling the video call you can easily understand what happens at the remote side and these calls are getting automatically recorded and later on such things can be used to uh, get uh, some amount from you and then blackmail you in that way so it is again a one request never 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 respond such video call or any message if it is received from unknown number if you feel that the person is known or something you it is better to recall him on the number which you have do not call on the same number from where you received the message and i would like to give one of the example which i have kept the specific screenshot of this message with the approval to spread the awareness which happened with our director prl for which his photo get it from the website used to be a profile photo of the unknown person on a whatsapp and one of the employee of prl received such a message that so and so that he wishes to do some activity and arrange to do it amazon pay gift card and transfer the amount and if you are not vigilant you can see that the thing which happened with the other punawala's case as well as the gbm motor group the amount get credit hit in the crores of rupees get transfer here you see our colleagues somehow trusted it but later on he realized something is fishy and then he understand that this is the phishing message and some precautionary measures can automatically taken up so that is why i request each and every one especially the at threat actors or attackers use the different techniques to lure you and to get some amount or some information which we are not supposed to reveal to any third person so when we are talking that cyber security the technically there are three things which are involved in cyber security one is the technology which antivirus is there firewall is there ids ips are there right process process covers the governance or the policies and last important which i from the beginning in my slide which i mentioned is the biggest link which generally happening is the people even though you have a good technology even though you have a good policy but if the employee or we are not aware about the certain etiquette of this cyber security or cyber configuration processes and if any misconfiguration or any click on our unknown link may lead to a threat or attack on this entire system and that is why if you have seen the recent attack happened on to uber is nothing but the example of the some issues or something which related to the employee 
ultimately so that is why the awareness is very very important for all of us to keep us uh, vigilant especially when we are dealing with the cyber space or cyber world and the, it's not awareness as individually cyber security has to be seen in a comprehensive way that is why when we talked about the people process and the technology they are all need to be sync and seen in a comprehensive way otherwise there any issue at one place may lead to a disaster at the organization as well as the individual level so that is why generally suggest and request each and every individual employee if you are aware about cyber security threats it is equally our responsibility to spread the awareness among or within the family members also because they are also connected to a cyber world by latest device gadgets for many activities that we will see how we can make them aware generally we see why security issues are happened because we have generally feel that it is not the integral part of our daily life generally that is why i have kept the one table here if you see as a, our precautionary measures which we take it for our human body we take the vaccines antibiotic intrusion prevention for our security of our home or or our own for the body also as well as the healthy healthy lifestyle in terms of i will say very important which we do daily yoga morning walk right these are the things which is part of our healthy lifestyle sleeping at a particular time waking up at early in the morning and so on so same thing if we relate because ultimately uh, it world is also similarly going parallelly with our digital life so antivirus is there for computer for our it gadgets i will say patch management firewall and i i, I emphasize more on good computing habit if we have followed the certain good computing habit i think it is very very important and uh, easy for us overall to get the cyber security in terms of overall as well as one of the important one reason is awareness and not i'll say good computing habit which we follow and especially these are the thing happening sometimes is because of the our budget constraints sometimes we follow because antivirus or licensing software is there is a cost but at the same time when we think about the cost with respect to the damage which will happen with us in terms of financial thing in a longer run for example if something goes wrong with our financial account or our money i think this amount is nothing uh, comparatively to that damage so it is always uh, advisable to go with the licensing software and so on so yes ultimately it is our joint responsibility to have a cyber security and cyber safety generally what generally we think of that okay my family member or my five other mother doesn't have a online account but he uses whatsapp or facebook but generally for only day to day routine purpose so what will happen if something goes wrong generally we will be either victim of the cyber attack or one of the important thing will happen is that we will be part of the cyber crime or attack now if you see simple example suppose we purchase a house in our day to day routine life as i mention always and i give such example so that at least will correlate each uh, things in a cyber world like for example if you purchase a house and uh, if one if the house is completely empty what normally first task we do we always lock it even though nothing is there why we lock it because we know that if something is open if we keep it open what will happen somebody may misuse it and when somebody will misuse it will be in a trouble the same thing happen with us in the cyber world if we do not take precautionary measures to safeguard our digital devices to safeguard our comprehensive way in such a way that digital devices of our all family members also there is a possibility that either will be victim or will be part of cyber crime and it's only one click for attacker for us there are multiple actions which we have to take whereas it's a one opportunity one moment and one person for attacker to be make it part of successful attack so that why the in a cyber safety generally we say that we should follow and protect us against the risk and threat with technology with our proper email or safe browsing etiquette we have to follow healthy lifestyle like 
email etiquette or say browsing etiquette proper use of digital devices and here i have mentioned about the 90 by 10 rule for safety in terms of 90 by 2 90% is the responsibility of end user and 10% is generally responsibility with technology process i like to mention here because when we say about the safety of our home or our car when we go out of our home we used to lock it lock with this good quality keep the key safe right we ensure the lock is properly done or not we ensure that all the windows and all the other remaining doors are properly closed or not so here it is a 90% responsibility for end user 10% remains with the quality of the lock lock safety of the lock and keys safety and so on so that is why i generally feel and request that we should follow proper etiquette and when we talked about the threats which are in terms of online if we talked about the device related threats ransomware very well aware nowadays which is happening and frequently happening various organizations cyber infrastructures are having the attack of ransomware and because of that we know that it is difficult for the organization if the proper mechanism are not in place how to uh, recover is again a difficulty part then virus worms these are all the malware families spyware keylogger this is also very very dangerous part keylogger and i request each and every one attendees before using any third person's computer or device please please avoid i'll say or never use it because we as a user sometimes do not know whether the key loggers are installed within that particular device or not and if such things are installed the key logger may be a let me just tell you key logger can be a hardware key logger or a software key logger if it is a hardware key logger there is a back end side hardware available which logs all the key depressions and store it into some file or some date thing and again then it goes to a hacker at the same time if software key logger it is in the form of software which is running in the background on the system and can logs all the information which you typed on a keyboard so if you do any email logging or anything these things are logged and can be visible later on for from the file then unpatch softwares and so on so these are just few list which i have given maybe a exhaustive list will be there with the family which generally that is why i generally say that when we talked about cyber security we have to see it in a comprehensive way not only digit only device point of view or only a family or only a personal information because ultimately these are all correlated and all merged at some place so cyber bullies there is also one type of things which is happening online predators invasion of privacy and disturbing content so this is all few list which i have mentioned which affects or impact have a impact on our family in terms of cyber threats personal information phishing threats oxis identity theft spam passwords few things are very well aware well. i will more concentrate here today on the phishing which was is widely widely and uh, almost i'll say 95% of the threats they generally use this phishing or social engineering techniques to attack on a individual or organization because that is the only thing which is happening and as I, that's why i mentioned that human is the weakest link and this social engineering or phishing is the way to go and to lure the human to perform the attack uh, briefly i have touch upon the ransomware crypto locker uh, ransomware we are very well aware that it encrypts the entire file system and uh, how it generally happening is that either you received a mail or a, some link and uh, which links uh, attack you to click on that and as soon as you click it in a background background some program get install and itself in a way and then start contacting command and control to further coordinate the attack and then start encrypting your files and ultimately at later on you will get such screen where you have to pay some amount into bitcoin and then only you will get the decrypted key uh, that is also not sure whether you will get it or not but this is the message which we generally received when we are encrypted with the ransomware so to protect against ransomware it is always advisable to keep regular backup of important file use the proper antivirus regularly update it keep the license os keep the license antivirus 
keep them updated with all the announced patches have a proper etiquette or follow certain cyber security safety hygiene to protect yourself from this type of attack uh, phishing attack before covering that i thought let me just i know that everybody is aware about the email architecture but nowadays let me thought that covered up again where i would like to emphasize more the things which are happening and used in the cyber phishing threat is the change or spoofing of the real name i will also show you through demonstration how exactly it is happening but we have many a times seen that the real name is changed with the known person or the identity of the organization whereas the email address is not correct so we generally see in our uh, email client uh, the first is a real name and as soon as we see the real name click on the email the email is very very sophisticatedly written and when we click on the link it start installing some code malicious code in the background so how these things are happening that we will see in a future future slides so that is why generally see, try to cover up with this that this before clicking the email read the real name properly read the username and the entire email address also properly it quite possible that the email address is completely visible in terms of genuine maybe either it is hacked or it is spoofed smartly in such a way that we feel that it is genuine in nature so read the email content properly so in email threats something happened with spoofing phishing and spam spam is nothing but the unsolicited mail or news group posting or advertisement uh, i'll say simple, one very simple example in terms of spam is that suppose at our home when we are getting the newspaper uh, especially sunday we get lot of pamphlet if you open up the newspaper and lot of advertisements are there even though we have not asked for that so that is nothing but i'll say and i relate it with that uh, Uh, spam because it is all commercial advertisement may be useful to someone else but not for us also but as phishing where somebody sends the mail to steal the personal information or install the malicious code within that uh, machine to get the more uh, personal or uh, perform the further attacks from that particular machine so this is nothing but the main objective is to obtain the personal information and spoofing is nothing but the identity theft where somebody try to be uh, legitimate identity for a end user so objective behind the phishing attack initially when we talked about in a past before 10 years i will say the objective was to uh, just uh, make the system unavailable or make the <coughs> network unavailable but now the uh, trend move from that uh, particular things to getting the financial fraud related to debit card debit card or uh, pin numbers and the cvv numbers and so on customer verification number here i would like to add one more thing if you even right now open your uh, wallet and just uh, op- get the debit card or credit card and see the back side i think uh, what i personally observed because of certain study which i did it with my colleagues family and i observed that the 90% of the case the cvv number is visible generally cvv number also has to be hidden and we have to memorize that but now because of the mobile calculator and it calendars reminders automated things we generally lose certain our memory which we have very good strength in terms of our mind but uh, these things which we are losing so cvv number has to be also hidden because could cloning the card and getting the cvv number if it is visible may create other problems which we can understand as a it person also and this is very important especially when we are dealing with the it security with family because our family members also use our credit card debit cards and so on so they should be also get aware about all this threats related to cvv number so i always suggest each and every participant and as well as my all colleagues also that you please take some precautionary measures and especially when we visit our restaurants there we generally uh, pay through credit card or debit card 
and uh, generally the waiter or the person take the credit card and debit card and go to desk and then scan it and so on so i generally always prefer and request to bring the device nearby you scan it in your presence ensure that it is scanning proper amount and uh, there is no such things which is attached as a cloning device to that particular uh, scanner or card scanner so that it is safeguard can we can take the safety of our card then another is installing the ransomware getting this details to do identity theft so that they can clone the our identity and so on so these are the basic uh, uh, scenario and uh, how the things are happening that is called as we called in a technology as a kill chain that phishing kill chain i'll say so they generally first they do the target information gathering which means they generally try to follow you at various places maybe through social media maybe through uh, your physical movements through gps locations that's why i generally prefer that the gps location has to be off if it is not in use generally we keep gps location on we also keep bluetooth on we also keep our wifi on right whenever we move with our digital gadgets especially mobile i'll say but it is not good practice as a good uh, cyber safety hygiene because if we move at certain places and the public wifi when we connect it automatically our device get connected and all the data get transferred starting communicating to external world at the time the if it is a public wifi anybody can sniff if it is a attacker has set up such wifi access point especially at the common places so that is why i suggest and request each and every one that never keep any such thing which is unused like bluetooth wifi ap our uh, uh, data plan also sometimes don't keep it on whenever you need it you turn it on so they get the targeted information then accordingly they plan the attack pattern then they start attackers exploit vulnerability in suitable medium either through email or through whatsapp or through sms right and then as soon as you be in trap it automatically starts sending the information in the background and then later on they will use it to uh, ask the money as a ransom uh, for a ransom attack now when we are talking about the uh, phishing attack there are various type of phishing generally we as a family members or end user we are not which we are aware but as a technologically i thought let me cover up the name which generally we call it common phishing with nothing but generally uh, flooded with various uh, information news group and so on as in terms of spam also where it's a generic very generic message not targeted to anyone but if somebody clicks it clicks it uh, for uh, malware or other things here i would like to more emphasize on a sphere phishing attack where the email appears to be from the someone you know as i mentioned just now in email address that the email real name appears to be known personal or personality or organization name that i will show you also how example things which uh, especially uh, with the income tax and the various other banking websites as well as the even user also then the smsing where the will get the sms from the known person which i have just shown in a whatsapp how the things are happening and use our photo generally feel that if we share the photo on a facebook or on a website but and that is all safe it is not like that somebody is already following us they use this photo and try to uh, do the identity theft or use that particular photo to send a, a, a phishing message or a, some threats to our known person because we have kept that things are available with our by our own to internet world then wishing we get the telephonic call uh, just a minute where our pers- uh, we get the some of the call to share the personal information and uh, these things are right now happening let me just share with you for 5g introduction within P- uh, india uh, the users may get the call that we are representing of so and so telecom service provider and we are in the process of upgrading the 4G to 5G so please provide so and so detail and so on or maybe a sim card swapping fraud can also happen if you click or provide the otp or click on some link or provide some detail personal information to a attacker if you receive such a call so i i, I again request each and every participant please 
spread this awareness about such thread within the family and also be yourself also be vigilant then there is a welling which is also one type of fishing where the profile victims are celebrities or our executives like our directors or organization ceos or cfos or isos for example also that also is known as a welling attack the one of the important attack which is also nowadays in place is angular fishing generally we uh, get the food from the zomato or swiggy from some very well known restaurant and if we are not happy with the delivery or we are not happy with the food it is now generally our family members also put such information on their twitter or facebook so that they will they feel that they, they will uh, spread the awareness and they make the organizations uh, uh, inform about the delivery issues or bad delivery or bad quality of the food but the same thing is attackers used it for their own purpose that uh, you will get a message uh, after this that uh, we are so and so representative of this organization and we got this uh, issues and so on so you please click on this and provide the feedback details but we do not know that the link may be a uh, malware link one more thing which i just mentioned about the uh, wi-fi access point that is evil twin phishing where they generally put the similar name type of hotspot or the public wifi and then once we connect it it is open freely available and once we start doing it the back end they try to sneak the traffic and try to get the whatever the plain text traffic which is going they get the information what we are doing it on our device and so on so these are the basic uh, things about the uh, overall phishing attacks the information which i mentioned just now already covered how they are getting it our detail generally we kept all the details open if we have not uh, safeguarded our facebook account the name is available date of birth is available we generally share the photographs so they can know where we are going locations travel histories right relationship status our hobbies and this all photos and this all information collectively become a uh, uh, weapon against us to put a cyber attack on ourselves so this is generally my way which i thought to share with you when we are getting the advertisement uh, facebook said we are aware about because already all informations we have shared anyway so these are the general uh, common baiting tactics which uh, attackers use and you might have also seen about the price urgent club membership important right and one of the thing which is right now also going is the help test you get received a call fall con that 24 by service that your uh, machine or your device or your uh, 4g sim card is having let's say for example some issues and we have observed it uh, on our system so please install some software and that software is nothing but the remote desktop access software which will come give the complete uh, control of your uh, device and then attacker can do many other activities so whenever you received such messages please do not click or do not install any any softwares or hard uh, this thing on your uh, device so already facebook has given a many thing to safeguard your account which we have to take care so if you go to facebook and uh, profile there is options available privacy and security where you can enable and disable many many such features which will help you to protect your facebook profile and in a longer run our uh, reduce the threat uh, impact uh, or threat actors to get the all the detail like for example who can see your friend list that is very important because if it is visible like for example it is say only me which means nobody else on uh, facebook can see my friend list so that what will happen even if somebody follows us or somebody is uh, getting the facebook information they will not be able to see who is our friends and so on one of the important point is do you want search engine outside facebook to link your profile we should not like for example if it is yes you say no so these are the options already available which you can go through your facebook profile not only if you do not have your facebook profile don't worry definitely our as a family member our children or our grandparent they might have so it is better to sit with them review the profile so that they can also be protected against such attack like for example this setup which i have shown which example here they know who can look up using your mobile number only me right email address only me so that very very 
less information you reveal to outer world. Facebook also gives two factor authentication. Similarly, Twitter and the Instagrams and so on. So it is always advisable to enable the two factor or multi factor authentication on all your important critical account. If you have seen the Google has already started enforcing two factor authentication for many emails account so that at least you get. Protected from any even if your password is sometimes visible or available to attacker. Then there is option also available that get alert when there is a unrecognized login happen. So these are the uh, features available within the Facebook also, but generally we do not care about setting all these features, but yes, they are also provided and I suggest spare some time. Sit with your family and review all this and I'll say review in not terms of once only periodically review because there are so many updates coming so many policies are getting changed so it is always advisable to review the setup like for example just I mentioned Google to fair two step verification which means as soon as you log in with the password immediately you will get notification on your mobile and when you say yes it's me then only it allows the login so that you can get protected also Google and Facebook and other things which provide the recent activity your profile where from where you logged in so that also you review so that you will come to know from where you logged in even though it is your genuine login but still it is always advisable to spare I think uh, my personal own experience I would like to share is that even if you spare uh, 15 minutes a week I think it's sufficient enough to overall get the view of your complete uh, digital uh, uh, presence on the various social media and so on. This is the angular phishing example where I mentioned that sometimes we put such message that I can't log in on so and so account fix it and so on so that you feel that the company will respond on tube, uh, Twitter and so on, but you may end up in attack also if malicious actor sends you such response with some link and sometimes we are in hurry and we click on that and that is why if you have seen in the various newspaper that uh, somebody got a link uh, when he tried uh, or she tried to contact a customer care so if you search in a google their customer care number of let's say for example some organization and uh, there is a always ad AD is written in some place before the link that is nothing but the advertisement link and when we click on certain such link the incorrect number may lead you to the attackers. So CEO or BC phishing this is nowadays widely happening. I nowadays instead of email it moved out to WhatsApp. That is why the this, this uh, example which I have showed in my second third slide that happened with that particular money transfer and uh, I would like to also mention one case which happened in Ahmedabad with one organization because of unawareness or negligence of the employee two times the money get transferred because of such mail and here I would like to also show you the live example uh, how the things are uh, happening. Sorry. Uh, let me just share the screen. I request Dharmendra sir as soon as you receive the screen, please let me know sir. I'm just sharing the screen again. Just a minute sir. Let me just share the screen. I hope this is visible sir. Right. Okay. Huh. Right, sir. Yes. This is the this is the control environment which is set up here. I would like to show you some one or two demonstration, especially income tax related demonstration, which upcoming slides is there already. But I thought let me just show you so that at least uh, we'll have get uh, awareness how the income tax mail which we are getting it. Uh, there is already script or program which I have prepared. Uh, this is nothing but the tool. Let me just share with all of you that this tool is freely available as open source swag. And this tool helps to generate the or some of the email testing email uh, for the technical guys so that they can test their emails. And here I would like to also cover up that there is a mail 
which shows that your income tax has been processed successfully for this year and the refund amount is this and the link is here so we'll uh, execute this uh, command and then we will open up the email so that you will see how exactly the email appears i have simply executed the command and the email uh, goes to email account now i am opening the screen this is the webmail which we generally get it hope it is visible sir yeah yeah so this is the webmail generally we use it like yahoo gmail or any other organization email and we logged in using the uh, login now see first we see just as i mentioned earlier income tax officer right this is the real name which is a spoof now if you click here little bit you will see that the email address is do not reply at tax.incometax.ly now the complete uh, domain is fraud or i'll say not genuine domain but still as a user when we see that refund is there our more concentration goes on refund rather than all such important aspects so if you click it you will get this mail correct hello your income tax has been processed the refund amount is this click it now here the link is if you see this link is uh, not the income tax link but it is a shorten url that also i will cover up later on but i thought let me just cover here in a example so that when we discuss this in a Uh, upcoming slide you will easily able to relate it so this is nothing but a tiny url and this url to generate nowadays is not also a big task let me just show you how it is exactly just simply google is a very good source for many things so i'll say shorten url shorten url is nothing but the url long url is converted into the short form short url is there quickly url is there tiny url is that i have used this source to generate the tiny url so if you write down anything here it will generate into short form for example let me just try here something like this so that i can show you how generally we prefer shorten url to send in email or sms or whatsapp because long url it is sometimes difficult so if i write down a dot php something this and i'll say make tiny url you can see that this is my tiny url right and only this i have to send so that as a end user will not be able to understand where exactly it is going right even if it goes to a, again later on once we click it let's say for example let me click it this is completely a purely example based it is completely prepared only here within the control environment not accessible to external world that's what i would like to say because this is income tax related frauds things are happening so i thought let me share with you this by creating this uh, url so if you click it it goes to a income tax it will appear you like a income tax right and here if you see the information what is asked your bank account number atm card number four digit atm pin number three digit atm cvv number pan card number date of birth and say they save detail now when we have seen the email the human psychology is that when we are getting the refund and in a lighter way i will say from income tax we generally do not see any other things here we simply see that the amount which we are getting it and we try to provide all the detail even though we are aware very well aware that income tax india has already our bank account number and why this people are asking cvv number and atm pin we are supposed to receive the money right when and when we are supposed to receive the money we need not to provide any atm pin or atm card or cvv number all the details are uh, available uh, these are all personal sir sorry is this detail but pan card and bank number they are already aware about all these details so why they are asking so that thing should come in our mind immediately so this is the thing but the example email the url is also spoof url right this is example which i have shown here only for that purpose so this can be 
put like this so this is why how the tiny url and the the attack on income tax are performing like this now i will show you the bc type of attack let me just show that uh, yeah this is again uh, i am going to execute uh, one uh, script and uh, i will show you how bc attack appears the email is there now for example this appears to be a mail from ceo right for any organization a favor as you always provide quickly generally we try to please the employee so that they can immediately take the action as soon as the employee opens the email said mr this is the name for only example i am traveling from london to this this some issue so to pay the hotel bill kindly transfer some amount on so and so account now how this attacker come to know that ceo is out of country and traveling to this because generally we uh, as a human psychology when we go to any place uh, or traveling we put all the detail on a facebook immediately sometimes right even if you go for a restaurant we say we are at so and so restaurant and eating so and so things so these are all information sometimes we provide to a uh, threat actors that uh, these are the things which they can use to perform attack on us so sometimes uh, this informations are already there like for example and i am boarding the flight not reachable for another 10 hours so and so some urgency is there like urgency within an hour like right? now here one line which attacker has smartly written there is a gift for you perfume from france of brand charlie which you share photo on facebook which means already he followed this employee for certain things and he understands that this employee likes this brand and he has already shared certain detail regarding this so he used that also as a weapon so that employee understands that yes the email is genuine in nature and this is the task and as soon as you receive this this has now as i mentioned the form is now whatsapp right and the amount get transferred the thing beyond that so this is the example which i thought let me share with you some uh, uh, this thing now let us uh, go to again uh, presentation so uh, this was the nothing but the bc or uh, ceo type of uh, fraud which generally happen these are the some of the example which i have covered up which uh, in some live environment like for example sbi banking let me just show you here in just a minute the url if you see the url which is smartly written http again plain text this is also one of the sign of uh, fake url instead of uh, online sbi.com if you see they they, they are slightly use either zero or o which is very difficult to distinguish when we access such a email on a small screen like mobile i will also show you some examples there so as soon as you receive such mail please be vigilant and understand the income tax mail which i have just shown you the demonstration and this was the screen which i always used to keep in my presentation because few years before the same income tax website this was the income tax website which was older one which was used to perform the attack for tax refund thing on uh, multiple users within india and especially this happened in the month of march april nearby that because at the time the income tax uh, filling or in online transactions for income tax are going in a wider way so this was the real example in which was covered at multiple times in the news also at various newspaper that this is the uh, thing happening so be aware you see this is the same thing which i have just discussed card number expiration date verification number atm pin and so on so these are the things which was there now here this is the another pattern or type of the attack here you see that uh, apple.com apple.com is almost seen covexin.in covexic.in right if you see the visibility in terms of uh, alphabets you feel that these are the same uh, alphabets or uh, uh, url there is no difference in that but this is nothing but the attack pattern called it as a internationalized domain name where the unicode character set with a similar latin and cyclic alphabets used to make the domain look like a identical domain so here this is very very difficult sometimes to understand the attack pattern here i will also show you a demo that how easily with some vigilant nature and some precautionary measure uh, helps us 
to protect. Uh, sorry, uh, let me just show you uh, the things. Uh, if we copy it and paste it into browser, what will happen? How it differentiate that I will show you just a minute. Open the browser and if I go to this and if I say copy paste, right? You see what exactly it's showing the URL. It is a URL is nothing but the Puni code URL and you will surprise that how exactly it converted automatically. So in my browser, in my system, the Firefox or Mozilla, uh, sorry, Mozilla Firefox or Chrome or uh, IE, they have already given an option that if such type of domain names are there, then they automatically showed you into this original form so that you can easily understand that this is the phishing domain or fake domain. You, this is the example domain which I got it from the URL. So here it is already said this site is not affiliated with Apple. So now let me just show you how it exactly happening. So I will say about dot config. This is nothing but the Firefox configuration, which is little bit for the advanced user. And uh, let me just try IDN. This IDN internationalized domain name. Uh, let me just. Show. IDN, right? Sorry, IDN. So if you see these options are already here. Multiple options they have given for IDN related domain. Now here the important option is this network.idn show Pune code. If I disabled it, it won't show me the original Pune code of that particular attack URL. So keep this option enabled so that you will come to know that this is the genuine or this is the Pune code. Now, if I click the original URL here, I'll also show you simultaneously so that you'll come to know that how the things are happening. Let me just copy the original things. So it will go to Apple. Now this is the original Apple, right? So these things are happened. It, there may be a possibility that attacker will create a phishing site, completely a clone website of uh, known brand or known organization and try to do some activity on your machine. So these are the things happening. Only the thing is we need to be little bit aware. We need to spread some time, spend some time with our device gadgets and take some precautionary measures with our own awareness and follow the certain hygiene so that we can safeguard ourselves from such threats. So this is nothing but IDN attack. This is the one screen which says that how we can easily identify uh, phishing email by looking into from address or by looking into the email content because that is very important, especially when we talked about the email content, the link, the, the real name, right? Then the email address, like attachments. So there are grammatical mistakes. This is very happen uh, frequently if you go to such email the grammatically there are a lot of mistakes happen in that. Now important point about email in mobile. Generally we check the email in mobile. So how to check whether the link is genuine. So I have kept the screenshot of my Vodafone bill. The link is genuine, but for example, I thought let me just skip it. So there is option pay now. Now how to understand that whether the link is going really to my genuine uh, service provider or not. So in mobile also you can visualize, you can check it. Press the link button for two to three seconds. This button pay now, if you click on it, it will show you the original things like this. And you can go into browser by opening browser, copy the link, share the link and so on. Okay, and one more thing advice here is that if you feel there is something suspicious, don't click on any link. Go to your service provider's website, genuine website by going into typing the URL. If it is a correct at the typing also, please ensure that you are typing correct URL. Any mistake may lead to a phishing site or a clone of the particular website and you may again end up in some issue. So be careful by performing such things. SMS part I thought let me also cover up. Uh, I think uh, time is almost nearby, but I'll summarize with this only last uh, few things about SMS because 
identifying the genuine sms or not is very very bigger question sometimes and especially for technical guys they are sometimes aware but for family and others non technical people it is very difficult sometimes to know whether it is genuine or not so here i have set the two sms one is with side type of written like alphabets if it is a non number message and asking for paytm and so on i think now it is very easy to understand that the if it is organization message it normally not come with the unknown numbers here i have pet kept it live example this is my mobile number i received this ptm because i used ptm for example so that somebody try to uh, put or send me such a, a phishing message to me so that if i click it it can create a some issue here one more message that your credit card point was so and so this is the message so uh, things are happening here i have kept one example nowadays if you have seen we are getting the sms with this type of alphabets or maybe sometimes this numbers and the content for example is same so how to identify whether the mail is uh, sorry sms is genuine or not so here i would like to mention that sbi has already shared information into a news about long back that if you received a sms with this type of alphabets only it is genuine so here i would like to also mention that try our telephone regulatory this thing they have already set up a rule for all the sms sending entities that the sms must be in the form of this which means x is a telecom service provider y is a license service provider so here if you see bm sbi inb which means the bsnl from mumbai region has sent the message with this organization so all organization they have to set such thing and for that the guideline is like this if the message is promotional message the sms should be in the number and only six digit promotional in the sense of discounts product sales etc and only deliver to email user subscriber those who have not activated dnd so delivery of message is nothing but in the form of numeric id if it is a transactional message only alphabet six numbers which is bank otp credit card otp transactions related and delivery of message with the sender id and the message which doesn't fall within this two either service oriented like for example e commerce related or bank balance information delivery notification right they are only alphabetical of only six character not covered any of these above so this identity differentiation of this sms let us spread this awareness within family so that they will also understand so this is nothing but the shorten url which i have just covered up to verify the shorten url link you can put the link at the back plus sign it will tell you where it is going like this if it is a tiny url you can put preview before the url it will tell you where exactly it is going so let me just show you one example live so this is nothing but a tiny url let me just show you one example i think uh, let us take the example of uh, our own tiny url which we have used so that let me just show you yeah this is the tiny url it's a copy i'll say control v i put preview it will show you something that this is the original url i think let me just share the screen so that you will come to know about tiny url this is if you type preview.tinyurl.com this thing about completely it will tell you that it is going to this which we have just typed and generated the tiny url so you say proceed to this site it will redirect you to website so this is the thing if you do not know anything don't click anything and go to immediately exports so that they can to give you proper guidance 
wishing very well known all the calls got uh, from the unknown numbers do not or never share any personal information upi payment it is widely used heavily used all over the, uh, now india and we all have a upi sometimes you might have received such message over upi uh, that uh, there is a price for you from flipkart right it is very easy to put such uh, logos as i mentioned about in my example slide of our uh, incidents on whatsapp right and you say pay click it but always ensure that upi pin or scanning the barcode is only to send the money when you are receiving the money never 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 enter your upi pin because you are receiving the money right which mistakes generally we do it when we are in a hurry and when we received any such message right that's why it has already mentioned scan qr code only when marking the payment not while receiving the payment reset your upi pin periodically so that is why i requested now last one example which i would like to demonstrate here is the browser in browser attack which recently happened if you have visited uh, twitter or many other website generally you have seen that login with the google okay and when we use it it opens like this correct how it exactly is attacks happen let me just show you the demonstration also i hope my browser is visible sir okay so click on twitter Uh, Dharmendra sir, is it visible? So visible. Okay. Okay. Now, as soon as you click sign up with uh, Google, it opens like this window. It's pop-up type of window, right? But if you see the actual correct URL, the window you can move easily like this anywhere, right? If you make it bigger, it can bigger, right? It just simply moved here. now suppose if the browser and browser attack happen what will happen that you will see the screen is sign in google like even though you are in twitter website the screen is google website now i will also generate like similar okay i just simply type this url right this is google right if you see the difference here that i am not able to take this window out of my this browser workspace right whereas in the earlier case it was moving anywhere and if you even if we make it big it just within the same workspace so when such things are happening and when you observe this please be vigilant be aware that this may be a browser in browser type of attack and it is very difficult because the screen which appears to be a genuine in nature and you will definitely end up by entering your gmail password and login and so many details so these are the things happening recently be careful and be vigilant also yeah so now we'll simply move to again to our this example so this all it's quite possible easy to do it so i generally feel and i suggest and request each and every even within my group also never try to use existing google or any other account wherever possible go to the particular website and create a separate account rather than using the any other existing account sometimes in the uh, simplicity or use of simplicity or our conveniency we use all such features available i know that features are good for us but the same feature can be uh, uh, dangerous for us if it is used in a different way so i always prefer to create a separate account separate login separate password with all precautionary measures and then log in it so that i sometimes to judge whether it is a 
phishing site or not and uh, with this uh, this smartphone security which i have put uh, a little bit in hindi because uh, at the time in my previous presentation i used it and uh, the cross copy is that ki for smartphone security i always request each and every mobile user to keep your mobile phone information imei number handy because in any such certain circumstances or theft of the mobile this number will help you lot keep your service provider number handy always ensure that for any service visit the telecom service provider authorized showroom or shop never try to share or do anything with unknown person through a mobile or by some different way as i mentioned keep your bluetooth wifi all secure off as and when there is a need only turn on the apps which are not in use on install it always disable auto login as i mentioned conveniency we feel that let us keep it so i don't remember don't want to remember but i always request and i always feel god has given a very very powerful organ our mind which can remember many many things if you remember those who are uh, at the age of 50 55 or even younger those easily we could remember each and every telephone number of our family members but after that if you see in last 10 dec- decade last decade we gradually lose that our capability because of convenience available on our mobile but yes use that start using it so that at least if we can safeguard our app even if by all precautionary measure happen that yes fraud happen we may be a victim of cyber crime hacking at attempt happened or something goes wrong with us not to worry there is already a portal available cybercrime.gov.in you can go to that there is already a number 1930 i think it is there new number you can register a complaint online keep all your digital evidence handy so that you can take up that so this is nothing but the one step towards cyber security for device related i always say use license os license antivirus firewall keep them updated keep the password turn off webcam right never save your login credential always keep backup of important files right for family part you follow this talk to your kids spare some time discuss with them what they are doing it online right because there may be a possibility that they may be a victim of cyber bully they may be a victim of cyber crime they may be a victim of uh, uh, like uh, uh, identity theft or many thing happen but they may not disclose because of they may have some fear so it is high time to sit with family and generally that is why we say that the the family talk together eat together sit together right these are all things happen and it is time that we should enforce certain things personal our cv number and the atm card number secure our mobiles gadgets and so on so there is nothing but stop think and click only that if we can follow that will help you to protect and i always say that we are getting so much information day to day we are part of many groups in whatsapp and same message circulated many a times and that is why we generally lose our common sense but ultimate defense is a common sense if we lose it we may be in problem so always use common sense and security is a shared responsibility take a time i always say i think uh, spending of 10 to 15 minutes time for a day or a weekly i think that will help to protect us protect our family and organization thanks to all my colleagues and the our director prl and always encourage us these are the resources which i used to prepare that and yes thank you all for listening the presentation and this is my twitter which i post post only and only the cyber security information which are related to end user which means very common use your license in os so all reminders are gradually i put it so that at least we'll have a idea that what things are happening thank you thank you all